Well, I'm back to work on Pokemon Silver because it's the easiest one to do a bunch of updates for in a row, effectively. So we're going to just knock out basically uh, most of the entire game, or what's left of it. At least that's the plan. At the moment. You know, before I go to bed. Ugh. Though, I suppose I could, you know, hit the last nice episodes if I just split up all the Elite Four and who it's on episode, but let's screw it. You know, we're so strong at this point to deal with Machamp and Lance that, you know, I can basically one-shot and tie most of their, these teams, you know, easily. Outside of a uh, Slowbro still, for some odd reason, and Fortress, for ob obvious reasons, you know, it's a Steel type, so I can't really hit very hard, you know, with any of my default moves. Oddly enough, if I had used Breeding, I could have set myself up to use, um, Flame Will on it, but then I wouldn't have access to probably dig at the same time, you know, or something like that. I, w I would have had to give up some move at some point. Though I suppose I could have given up Dig after I got su not after I got Super Fang, but I had to have waited. Yeah, because I need Dig and Super Fang at the same time to deal with um, Jasmine. Then again, if I had Flame Will, I suppose I could have uh, used that instead of Dig, even if it's on my worst stat, but I, I don't think that would have been ideal. So yeah, my, my biggest threat on Koga's team is, you know, Fortress could explode. Um, I can take one hit from from him if it's the explosion. You know, I can handle that, because I can wipe out the rest of his team. You know, easy peasy. And at my level, I'm actually now faster than his Crobat. I can actually run circles around the damn thing. So, uh, taking it down with returns not a problem. Oh, I actually got, uh, I guess it's range now on Slowbro. Because I just did a practice run, it barely survived by the skin of its teeth. With like 1 or 2 HP. Okay. Not even the mighty Slowbro's defenses, you know, at this point are enough to keep up with me entirely. By the time we're done with this, I suppose it'll be completely, you know, no longer a range based uh, issue. Because I'll probably be, like, level 69 by the time I get through the entire Elite Four. We level up fast as Racket. Okay. Yes, above all traitors. Right. Even when you don't have the ability to approve, you'll stand above all trainers. Got it. Yeah, I expect this to be mostly a one-sided affair. Like I said, the biggest threat, you know, is his Fortress. You know, we could do Explosion and get a critical hit and take me out. And there's not much I can really do about that besides, you know, do some Super Fangs, drop it down to low health, and then knock it out with Returns. So I have to land two Super Fangs, as far as I'm aware. I haven't really tested the uh, effectiveness of Return on it yet. Maybe at some point I will. You know, at some point, you know, I'm probably going to just smash it so hard it'll go down even if I'm using a really ineffective attack to do it. I mean, why wouldn't it? <sighs> oh no, it's Venomoth. It's a dragon psychic type. Yeah, it's a reference to someone else's Let's Plays. He, he does Pokemon stuff all the time, and he always mistypes Venomoth as a joke, so... that That's why I got completely wrong there. I know it's, you know, Poison Bug. Now then, Super Fang it. So I suppose if you have to explain the joke, it's no longer funny, right? Okay, another Super Fang. Thankfully, we didn't miss. After all, Super Fang's not perfectly accurate. Damn it. I really can't have, you know, this thing shooting down a bunch of my returns. I need about all of the ones I have right now to finish off the entire Elite Four. Uh, I suppose I could use a... Uh, Um, PP up on it. I do have one. Though, if it's effectiveness would help at the moment, I'm not sure. At any rate, you know, I'll have shower balls I can throw at uh, that last dragon if I have to. Come on, just return on this thing and get rid of it. Though, maybe, uh,. Part of it's that my return's gotten slightly more powerful, too, because I did have some more room to grow on that. And using it in important battles like this does give it a point. 
I mean, even though I was getting obviously knocked out, I was getting progressively further and further. And I was going to lose only one point, you know, from a knockout on these guys, as far as I'm aware, so... The return's probably about as good as it's going to get. Oh yeah, I guess we're going to stop here. Until next time, then. See ya.